What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Lil Clay Clay. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, it's Wednesday around 6.50 a.m. in the morning. And just now, just, just finished getting ready for work. Um, just uh, maybe to start off this vlog, I'd show you a few things I got from Walmart yesterday. One that involves the vlog and one I got from my brother. If you're new here, my name is Lil Clayclay and I have high functioning autism. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video so you can enjoy more after. So, um, this is the first thing I want to show you guys. This is a first alert smoke alarm that I got from my brother Nasir and I got this specifically for him because if you guys notice, there is a light in the middle of it that will flash when the smoke alarm when the smoke alarm goes off and I purchased this friend because for those of you who don't know I ha my younger brother Nasir is deaf and wears cochlears and obviously he doesn't wear those when he's asleep so this will make a good tool to where if there's ever a fire the, the light on the smoke alarm will shine and it will wake him up and let him know that there's a fire so, there was one that was kind of like a fire alarm that had a strobe that I thought of getting off of Amazon. That was a bit more expensive. But anyway, there's that. And then I also want to show you guys this new on HDMI port that I got from Walmart that I plan on using my camera. Unfortunately, I need to get an adapter for it because for some reason when I plug this in, the camera won't detect the HDMI port. Hopefully it's not because I need the to have the power source plugged into it. Um, but, um, reason I say that is because, as you can see, it's a multi functioning, so the. And this is also a little big, so I can't plug the charger in whenever I plug this in, so that might be a bit hard for when I'm streaming in case the battery is about to go dead. So what I might do is see if I can find another one. Um, I mean, I'll use that for a while. I'm not gonna get another one right away, but when I get the hang of, hang of more streams, I will definitely get another one so I can stream longer. Um, fortunately, I do have this HDMI adapter here that I'm pretty sure I can use on the laptop to convert the, like, cause if you look here, it has a little charging port. Or a power source for the USB, so I'm pretty sure I can use it to easily convert the HDMI cord to a USB. I'm not positive, but we will see. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for work, and um, and when Chris is ready, we'll head on down there. So we got a couple new things today. See, they put duct tape on it. It's apparently there. Well, actually, I don't have any forms. That's why I gotta get some more forms. Shoot. Oh, y'all can't see. Yeah, I get some more forms. No, I don't. I have some right here. What am I thinking? But there's only one. 
bus. This one's leaking. This has a bulb out, so I'm gonna... First, I'm gonna take one of the bulbs off this little thing right here before I use any of these, so that way I can save the good bulbs. But, yeah, I'm gonna give this a whirl. I can find a hose for this cord. Yep. Forgot to mention, this has a clock pump, so I gotta take that apart and see what the deal with it is. So I'm gonna first run this. I'm gonna purge it. See how there where it's leaking. You see how bad the leak. I'm let it run for a bit so I can see how bad the leak is. The purge, the purges on these machines work a lot, and these bigger ones work a lot better than these little ones. see how bad the leak is and if I need to replace the place something on here so now I'm gonna set my camera right here to where this machine is and see if I can run it real quick and see if I can figure out what they mean by bulb is out and by that this is all broken or not working y'all can see, you see here that there's no there's no light whatsoever so that means that the bulb is broken or it's not or it's unhooked from the machine so I'm gonna pull it out. And, uh, take it turn this machine off and unplug it and then see if I can Figure out what the true diagnosis is of the bowl. works so I'm gonna put this thing back together and then put it back on the shelf
this DQ right now though the pump is blocked and I think when I removed the hose um, there was water pouring out of it and then there was some water leaking in the pump too so I know it's either coming from the pump or the hose so I'm gonna turn my light on over there and see if I can figure out what's causing the trouble I'm pretty sure it's the hose because that's where the water came out the most but, uh, but again I'm not really entirely sure so I just got the DQ running again and right now I'm seeing if I stop the blockage. There's a little ring you guys see right here that's supposed to keep the thing from going into the all the way into the DQ and it was pulled back a little bit farther so I'm starting to wonder if that's what is causing the blockage because it squeezes it like a real tight. So, but we shall see. any knots on the machine up. I just heard it purge. Let's see what that'll do. I sucked all the water out with the shop back. Here, clicking on. So, I gotta leave, but shut off again. It's got a blockage in the hose again. Pump block pumping hose so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plug it and then I'll see what it does tomorrow because my mom's already here to pick me up early and with that guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye